What is going on YouTube? How are you guys doing today? I just finished doing a Q&A in DCFI online, the executive lounge. I just finished doing that. So since I was doing that, I said, you know what? Let me just go live on YouTube. I was with TV last night, Trickle Brown, Sean Brown, and um, we were doing a Q and A, and um, we recorded a few videos on Patreon. So I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and do a Q and A with you guys. So I see a few people are in the building. Hey, Dean, what's going on? Starting, sir. What that is? Lamos Donnell, how are you doing, Lamos? How are you doing today? Liberty Collin is in the building. Hey, how are you doing? All right, Mario is in the building, says, woohoo, how are you feeling, Mario? Dean, it's frozen. What should you do? You should wait. <laughs> so I want all of you guys, now listen, if you're watching right now, um, this is a live Q&A. So that means that this is live. I'm interacting with people live. So if you're watching that you're like, Dean, hurry up and get to the point. There is no point. The entire thing is the point. Um, this is for people who are live. So everyone that's watching live, they dictate the flow and how everything goes. So um, when you are coming in, I want you to say, hey, tell me where you're watching from. And I want you to hit the share button. I want you to share this. I need you to share this immediately. Share this on Facebook. Share this on Twitter. Share and text it to somebody, whether it's your side chick or your side dude, whether it's your husband, your wife, your brother, your sister, whether it's it doesn't matter who it is. I want you to share this with them if they have inform if they have ever if you if they've ever asked a question about what it is to build a business, business credit, or anything about entrepreneurship. Period. I am answering those questions. This is going to be a pretty good long live. So. I'm answering your questions. I want you to hit that share button and also um, invite your friends. So this is not private, this is public. So I want you to hit the share button and let me know where you are watching from. Let's see who's all in the building. Wow, a lot of you guys joined in, okay? And hit the like button as well. Okay, good stuff. So we got, all right, OW is in the building. What's up, Dean? How are you feeling, my man? We got Charles is in the building. Dean, I made it to the live on time. Yes, you made it to the live on time, Charles. I'm glad that you made it, okay? All right, what's up, fam? Keep financially educating. That is from Mo Mills. I'm going to do the best that I can, Mo Mills. I got to do the best that I can. Jesus Luna from Facebook. Hey, hey, oh, Jesse Luna from Facebook. Hey, Jesse, how are you doing? All right, um, Peace Dean, what's good, fam? I am good, Sammy. Peace and prosperity to the family. Hello from Ohio. Miss K is in the building. Hey, K. Essentials, how are you doing, sweetheart, from Ohio? I was supposed to go to Ohio next week. I mean, tomorrow, but I had to cancel my plans. I was just telling all the clients in DCFI Online I had to cancel my um, flight plans. Oh, shoot. I got to cancel my suite. I had to, oh, shoot. I got to do that as soon as I get off the phone. It is what it is right now. <laughs> Hello from Ohio. Hello, Dean from North Carolina. That is Anthony is in the building. Hey, Anthony, I hope you're staying safe, my man. Irma is supposed to be coming up that way. How was my trip, um, Kita? My trip was awesome. I'm going to do a full vlog on it. This is what I was out. Now, if you were, if you're in the executive lounge, um, which is our support group, where I was just doing a live Q and A. I was just telling you guys about this. This is so dope, right? Let's see if you guys can see. Where is the camera? At? Boom. Can you see the Bahamas? I had such a great time. This is such a cool ship. So between this, my new friends, my videos, um, I have a bottle of, um, Hennessy White, which is not available in the U.S., and I have two more Cohibas. This was a um, good time, so I really enjoyed my trip, and I'm going to do a full vlog about it. I've just been so doggone busy, <sighs> um, so much that I got to do, so I appreciate that. All right, what's good? So who, oh, I missed a lot of questions. So all of you guys that are watching, I want you to hit the like button, and I want you to share it immediately. I want you to share this on Facebook, share this in any private groups that you are part of. I want you to share it, and I, I'm going to watch you. And if you shared it, I want you to tell me that. So if you shared this, I want you to say shared and tell me where you shared it to. Even if you're watching this on the replay, I want you to tell me that you shared it and where you shared it at. I'm watching now. Now, if you're watching this on the replay and you're like, Dean, who are you talking to? Why are you touching the screen? I don't see anybody. Two things. Thing number one, you can't see the questions. 
that people ask, which is why lives are so great because you can ask anything and stay anonymous unless I say your name. That's one thing. Thing number two is you missed out. You've either seen my videos before or you have watched my channel before, but you've never subscribed. And if you did subscribe, you did not hit the bell, so you could not be a part of the conversation. So that's um, that's that. So um, we have Miss Miss Sweetie to you is in the building. Hey Dean, I hope you had a great vacation. I had a great vacation, Miss Sweetie to you. Thank you so much. What's good, Dean from Charlotte, North Carolina? That is Antonio Caldwell is in the building. Hey Antonio, how are you doing? Liberty is in the building. Brandon is in the building. What's up, bro? I am winning. What's up, DCFI members from Florida? Tony is in the building. Good stuff. I'm planning on joining your course tomorrow. Awesome, Wesley. Well, I look forward to doing business with you, Wesley. Um, um, there was a gentleman named Eric um, who just joined today because, you know, we have our live Q&As every Tuesdays and Thursdays, and he was talking about how excited he was. He made our first live Q&A. So I'm looking forward to doing business with you, Wesley. I am excited for you. And we showed him a lot of love. All right, Micah, the driver is in the building. Hey, Micah, how you doing? What's up, Dean? I'm doing pretty good. How do you set up a business address? Kevin, that's a very good question, Kevin. So, Kevin, the way that you set up a business address. First, Kevin, did you share this? The cost of admission, Kevin, is sharing it. So share this either on Facebook or share this in text message and come back and tell me where you shared it. And I'm going to answer your question, Kevin. Are you going to participate? It's going to cost you to participate. <laughs> but the way that you set up your business address, um, you can do it multiple ways. Um, one way is to go through a company that's called a virtual office. A virtual office, what they do is they rent out large commercial space. Um, ain't no I will, Kevin, it's I have. You got to tell me where you shared it. So share it right now. Hit the share button. I'm waiting. All of you guys, I'm waiting. Hit the share button and the like button. But um, to answer your question, Kevin, there's companies called that are virtual offices. And what they'll do is they will buy out an entire floor of an of a office building and then they will sublease it to other individuals um, in a shared office space. So you could do a virtual office, which is the best way to do it. There are companies that I suggest that's in my course that are very, very cheap, very, very cost effective that will show up as a legitimate business. Um, mistake that a lot of people make is they might use a P.O. box or they might use a home address or they'll use some rinky dink cheap trying to uh, now my co the places and the resources in my course are like 50 bucks if that 100 bucks if that if you want some special service but some people try to get these $20 $15 cheap packages from other these companies and in the eyes of the underwriter sometimes it still shows up as a P.O. box or it shows up as a non-commercial address or it's red flag so that's a very good question so the best way that you could do it is um, either getting um, a, a legitimate full-time business getting a partner that has full-time office space or utilizing a service very very cost-effective service um, where you can get something for like 50 bucks a month if that and it's very well worth it all right so let's see um, so so Keita says, you're live in South, on the South side of Atlanta right now. We need to um, get together and have a cigar. That sounds like a great idea, Keita. That sounds like a very good idea. All right, hit me up on Facebook so I know what you look like so you're not a purple circle, a purple um, um, aqua blue Q. <laughs> hit me up so I can put a name with a face. You shared the Facebook. Thank you so much for that. Liberty shared the Facebook. You're awesome for that. Um, so Micah, the die ver or the DIYer that's dope M um, that's Micah the DIYer okay Micah um, says question I want to enroll is there a person to talk to via phone to enroll no Micah the way that you enroll is you go to dcfionline.com forward slash enroll and you enroll right there so it's dcfionline.com forward slash enroll and it'll walk you through the process right then and there and um, if you have any questions, you can let me know what questions you have right now. Um, but when you're enrolled into the course, um, you do, you're able to schedule 15 minute consultations um, with me, no additional charge. And also these live Q and A's we do every Tuesday and Thursday in the private Facebook group. Um, like I did, I just did one. Let's see how long that Q and A was. It was pretty long. Am I still alive? It still says I'm live. Okay, I'm tripping. I gotta refresh my screen. 
How long will we live, guys? In the Facebook group, let's see. An hour. And I'm very transparent in there too, so um, that was that. So that's a very good question, Micah. But yeah, to answer your question, you just go to dcfionline.com forward slash enroll. Or if you go to dcfionline.com, then you kind of click on the link that says, on the button that says enroll, and it'll walk you through the process and go ahead and enroll. And then you'll be able to speak with one of my uh, administrative assistants. They will contact you to confirm if you want your payment to come out on the 1st or the 15th, and then you can just go from there. All right, uh, post office lets you use their street address. Yes, um, Keishan, the post office will let you use their street address, but a lender will not approve you. You will be denied from every single lender that you use. You can use the post office address, Keishan, but they will deny you. You will not get approved for a stick of gum. All right. Um, Kita says, yep, you're in my course. How do you schedule a 15-minute consultation? Yeah, Kita, if you go into the course, I'm not going to give the link out to the public, but if you go into the course, Kita, matter of fact, I know that you're in the course because, and the thing about it, Kita, in on Facebook, you got to stop trolling, Kita. You have a trolling account because even on Facebook, it's, I think, a blank circle. I don't think you have a profile picture up. Let me double check. Yep, you have a you have a profile picture up, so you can't be doing that. Like no profile picture, and you want to have cigars, Kita? How am I gonna have cigars with you and you you are, you a nameless nobody? We don't do nameless nobodies around here. That's a dope red shirt. I don't know if that's you or somebody got a dope red shirt on, but yeah, you gotta um. But yeah, Kita, what you gotta do, my man, um, is in the private Facebook group. Uh, I'm actually gonna tag you right now. What you would do is you would go and hit the search button and then you go to appointment, search for appointment, and you're going to see a link that'll take you directly to my calendar. I'm about to tag you on it right now, Kita. Hold on. Let me know you got it so you should see the notification right now. So I just tagged you on my calendar in the private Facebook group. Give me a second. Bam. There you go, Kita. You're good to go. All right, so let's see. Questions. Boom, boom, boom. A lot of questions. Okay. All right. Thanks for the question. I'm kind of, you're kind of old school and you would like to phone, so the 15-minute calls will be great for you. All right, yeah, Micah, the 15-minute calls are great, but that's only after you are enrolled into the course, so that's good stuff. Even, listen, you can be old school all you want, but guess what? You're looking at me on YouTube. You ain't that old school. <laughs> you got to get with the times. Being old school is not a good enough excuse or a good enough reason to not do the best that you can in business or in life, Makita DIYer. All right. Uh, what's the best business entity to have, a C Corp or LLC? That's a very good question, Kevin. Um, it depends on one. Let me tell me where you shared this at, Kevin. Let me know where you shared this at, and then I can answer that question. How can I use your business to avoid child support? That's a very good question, Ronald. Um, well, one, you ain't going to be able to avoid child support, Ronald, um, but you can use the rules against the forces that be. So, um, you shared it to Facebook. Okay. Awesome. Kevin, I'm going to answer your question as soon as I finish answering Kevin's question. So, um, you, when you are an entrepreneur, you pay your own self. What you must do is you must be a legitimate business. You can't be a hustler saying that you own a business. And what I mean by that, now this is what I mean by hustler. I have no problem with hustling. I, I can hustle, I can have ambition, but I'm not a hustler. A hustler is somebody that is like a jack of all trades and master of none. We don't play those games. That's not how it works. You have to be a legitimate business. Set yourself up either as an LLC or an S Corp or a C Corp. Set your, I suggest LLC, which stands for limited liability company. So it depends on what your actual business is. So to answer your question, I got to ask you a question. What is your business? What is it that you do? And so after you set yourself up as a business, then you pay yourself. And if you're paying yourself, you control what your income is. Now you have to make sure that you set up two separate accounts. 
One account is your business checking account in your business name. Your name is not on there, it's your business checking account, which would be the Black Pearl Inc. will be the name of the business. The Black Pearl Inc. is the name of the business. So once you have everything set up in the Black Pearl Inc. business name, um, this is where your checking account, money is coming to the Black Pearl Inc. checking account, then all that in income goes to the business. Now, business expenses. What's considered a business expense? The car? It's not my car. It's, it's my business car. It's in the business name, business expense. My house? Not necessarily my house. I'm actually renting from my business. It's corporate housing. So that doesn't necessarily count. So you have all these business expenses until you get to your income, and then you pay yourself a wage. And so when you pay yourself a wage, the cool thing about it is as a right, as a father, you have rights. And that this might make some of the ladies uncomfortable, but guess what? Every man is not the same. But the system isn't the same because I know some women that would never put a man on child support. And I know some women that love to put men on child support. They have kids to put men on child support. So there's different extremes. So I'm just going to be very candid with you. As a man, to protect yourself, what you need to do is make sure that you're, you have up to 12 months of imputed income, meaning that it's unverifiable income coming from your business. So most people know that the first two years of business is you take a loss. So everything understood doesn't need to be said. So that's the best way I can describe that unless you are a client. And then I can do more detailed conversation with you in, in a non-public form. I hope that makes sense. So I hope I answered that question. Now, all right, Kevin, you asked the question, which one is the best to set up? Kevin, it depends. What's your business? Any meetup groups here in Atlanta? There's a lot of meetup groups um, in Atlanta, Kayshawn. I'm actually going to be um, hosting an event. It's called a business. It's going to be free to the public. It's going to be when my, it's part of my book launching, The Black Owned Business. I have a book that's coming out called Black Owned, and I'm doing a business brunch and book signing. You know I like my alliteration. The business brunch and book signing in my office is going to be open to the public. But um, so, Kevin... I suggest, I'm just going to answer the question. The way that I suggest, Kevin, is um, I suggest an LLC, which stands for a limited liability company, limited liability corporation. You are a, um, a um, hauler, especially if you're hauling, you need to be an LLC. God forbid, what if you were to run somebody over? Or what if you were to, um, you're a demolition hauler, prime example. Say, for instance, if you, you get into an accident with somebody, you need as much limited liability as possible. So let's say for instance, prime example, let's say for instance, if you go to a demolition site and God forbid something were to happen and because you're on site, somebody ends up dying or getting hurt, they try to sue all the businesses that are there. Now, when you have a corporation, then you're still not 100% separated from, even though you're separated in the eyes of the lenders, when it comes to liability, you're not. There's, it's easy to get what's called charging orders um, to pierce the corporate veil when you are a corporation. When you are a LLC, which stands for limited liability, that's the purpose for it, is so that you have a limited liability, um, then it, it protects you better. So my advice is to begin an LLC. Now, um, if you're enrolled into my course, then I can walk you through the process of how you're able to get an LLC, but have a limited liability, but get the tax shelters of a C corporation. That is a hybrid LLC. And I, I teach that information when you're enrolled into my course. All right. So there's some other questions. What's up, Dean? A cool 86 is in the building. How you doing? A cool 86. How you feeling, my man? All right. Charles says, hey, Dean, when will the E update lesson be back in the business credit course? It's, um, Charles, were you in the private Facebook group? In the private Facebook group, we just did. We just talked about that. All right, um, Kevin, how do you sign up? If you look at the bottom of any of my videos, even this video, there's a link. If you have to look in the description of the actual video, there's a description um, box. And it says enroll, and there's a finger that says here. And if you do that, it'll take you to the website, and you can enroll. Um, is dcfionline.com forward slash enroll. So at the bottom of every last one of my YouTube videos, there is a, um, in the description, is a link that'll take you to um, where you can enroll into the website, enroll into my course. But um, to answer the question, Charles, 
Um, yeah, in the private. Now, Charles, I want to make sure that you are you have access to the private Facebook group because some of the people who might be enrolled into the course might not have access to the private Facebook group, and that's what we do these every Tuesday and Thursday. So in the private Facebook group, um, we were just talking about that, but everything will be updated um, by the end of next week. Um, Charles. Um, Liberty says I have the name Properties LLC. Is my business name, which set up with a E I N. All right, explain that. So rewrite that question for me, Liberty Coin. It says, Oh, you have the name Properties, okay, in your LLC, which set up with a E I N, okay? So re ask that question again, Liberty. So rewrite that question and re ask me that question again. And if you're watching this and the replay again and you're like, Dean, who are you talking to? What are you talking about? It is because um, this is live and you cannot see the, the question. So if you do have a question and you're watching on the replay, ask your question below and I will um, answer your question. All right, so I need over, there's over 30 some odd people watching right now. I need over 30 likes right now. Hit the like button. If you a hater, hit the thumbs down button. Hmm. So, Kayshawn says, meet up specifically with you and a group about business credit. Not many groups around Atlanta with true info. I build new construction and rehab here. This is great info. Thank you very much for that, Kayshawn. I'm very glad that you um, find value in it. Thank you so much. We got those likes up there. I appreciate it. Um, so, I'm glad that you see value in in um, what it is that I do. So like I said, the meetup that I have, the if you stay connected with me, you will know the free meetups that I have. But if you just wanna sit down and kick it and you wanna talk, um, I charge $150 an hour to consult over the phone and I charge $250 an hour in person. Um, when you're enrolled into the course, um, you get 15 minutes for free, no additional charge for 15 minute consultations. But um, anything else that we do for free, I'll let you guys know, like the business brunch. I'm going to do a brunch for everybody, um, a, business, a book signing and brunch that's going to be at my office at the um, Queen Building. And I'll let you know when that is, is available. Thank you so much for sharing. Who said that? That is Charles. I appreciate you for sharing, Charles. I appreciate that. You liked and shared too. Thanks so much for that, Ray. David, I saw that you sent me a friend request today, Ray. I appreciate you so much. Hurricane season. Yes, hurricane season. Who said that? We're going to talk about that in a second. Fresh Air Brown is in the building. Just came back from watching on the um, in the private Facebook group. Um, just step in the building with them. Gator loafers own. <laughs> you know what? I don't have any gator loafers. I need to get me some more gator loafers. The ones that I had, I had some baby blue ones, but that was when that stuff was in style. That was a long time ago. You know what, Fresh Air Brown? Sean is in the building. What's up, TB? How you feeling, my man? I need to get me some nice conservative. You just, you, I, and I desire some too. I'm going to look at Mezzelin and get me some. I'm going to get, because I have some red bottoms, but I do need to get me some nice conservative black or brown gator loafers. Um, Fresh Air? You just put me, you just, hey, I'm going to get, hey, and fresh air, I'm going to tag you on them when I get some, too. I'm going to go look at Meslin. Matter of fact, let me look at Meslin right now. <laughs> let me look at Meslin right now to see what they got. There's a place here in Atlanta that was called largefeet.com, and you could buy some Meslins from them. Meslins are very, very good. Let me see, or Mari, Mari loafers. Let me get me some nice conservative gator loafers, a nice brown with a nice gold buckle on that. Let me find, let me find out. Hmm, you got me thinking about them now, Fresh Air. Let me answer some more of these questions. Is the name, the name of my business is Weather Properties LLC. So re-ask the question, Liberty. You're not ask, asking, you're not talking in complete sentences. I don't understand what it is that you're saying or what it is that you're asking me or what is it that you're, you're wanting. You have to Talk to me in complete sentences, please. All right. So, um, Courtney Smith is in the building, says, glad to see you back safe from the cruise hurricane season. Yes, Courtney, I am so glad 
that I am back. Um, I'm so glad that I am back as well. Listen to me. I, um, we were talking about that. Me and my friends were talking about that. Like we're so glad that we um, made it before the hurricane season came. So very glad that we made it before hurricane season. So very glad. Meslin Exotic. Bam. Let's look at some of these exotic loafers. Y'all got me up here. Fresh Air Brown got me up here looking at some exotic loafers. I don't like these all lace up. They don't look good. Those aren't exotic. These are nice, but they're not exotic. Let me see. Some nice loafers, but they're not exotic. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, there goes something. But they look like they be, be some old man loafers. I don't want no old man loafers. I still got to have my swag on. These are nice. Let's see. That genuine crocodile. I like these. They're only five ninety five too. Ooh, these might be getting got tomorrow. Let me show them to you guys. Uh, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show them to you. All right. So let's go back. Let me go back to the top. All right, Charles, you shared. All right, TB is in the building. Trucker Brown is in the building. Hit that share button. Hit that like button, TB. All right, Liberty Coin says, is that fine? What's up, Mr. Cole and friends? Eugene Brown is in the building. What's going on, Eugene? How you doing? Got to get those groceries home. Um, we'll watch replay. Yes, Ray. We will watch the replay a little bit later. <laughs> All right, Fresh Air. All right, so um, Kashan says you register your LLC with the P.O. Box, but have a physical office downtown Decatur. Should you change your address on the Secretary of State to your physical address? Yes, you shall. Yes, you should, um, Kashan, because if you don't, you won't be able to get approved for anything. You are considered a high-risk um, fraud alert file. Yeah, Mari is dope, Fresh Air. I'm going to show you these. These are pretty dope. I'm going to show these to you. TB will get um, you some, some Crocs. <laughs> Not those type of Crocs, um, Ray. These are different type of Crocs. Let me show you the type of Crocs that I'm talking about, Ray. Let me show you these type of Crocs. Hold on for a second, Ray. Let me show you these type of Crocs. Give me a second. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see how I can do this. How can I do this? All right. Let's see how I can do this. There we go. Boom. These are the type of Crocs I'm talking about. These are nice, right? Look at these. Fresh Air Brown, you don't put me up on game, man. I think I like these, man. So look, they're only $5.95. These are pretty nice. Look at them. These are dope. Nice for the fall. Um, I hope, can you guys hear me okay? Because I did something with the sound. Let me make sure I turn the sound up. Can you guys hear me okay? But yeah, look at this. This is a nice loafer. I don't have any um, gators, loafers. These are nice. Conservative enough. But he got that touch. Can you guys can you guys see this? Can you see me? I can't see any comments. Alright, awesome. Thanks. I see that, Kashawn. That's good stuff. See, let's look at some of these other ones. Yes, okay, you can see them. Yes, okay, good stuff. See, like these are the ones I was looking at. I don't like these. See, these are old looking. Yeah, big style. Yep. See, I don't I don't like these. I don't like that too tough. But these are nice, but they're not crocodile. They're not exotic. They're nice though, but they don't have that exotic print. Let's look at them. Let's see. See that calf skin. An alligator? Where the alligator at? All I see is they just look like calf skin. See these are oh, I see the alligator right there on the right there. Is with the alligator. Okay, yeah, that's the alligator part. Yeah, that's not enough. If I want I want some gators where you can tell they some gators. You understand what I'm talking about? I want them things still I want them still the, the tail wagging. <laughs> I want some tail wagging gators. Let's see. See, these are nice, but they might be old man looking. Yeah, these old man looking. These look like a old these look like an old man. Look like look like I got 
and over uh, this like I got about four kids and and a, and a mistress. I don't like these. I don't think I like those. You like you say I should get brown, um, Courtney. Yeah, I should get brown. See, these are nice though. Hold on, the more I look at them, I might like these. I gotta. I might see what they look like on. These are nice. Hold on. These are. Let me see this. Hold on. I might like these. Oh, those are. Oh, these are mean. Oh, yeah. These are nice. Oh my gosh. Those are nice. If you got. Oh, and these are only four hundred. Fresh Air Brown, you about to get me in trouble, man. These are only 400. I got to get these. I must get these. Oh my gosh, I must get these. Woo. These are mean. Oh, these are mean. They're only 400. Yeah, the brown. Who said? The, Courtney said to get the brown. Yeah, the brown is much better than the black. These are mean. Let's see if they come in my size. I'll be mad if they don't come in my size. They come in the 13? <laughs> you said... Oh my God, four kids and a mistress. Yeah, fresh air. That's what the black ones look like. But these right here, I like these. They come to 13. Okay. These, I might add these to the cart. I, I might, I'm going to go check these. I'm going to go check them out before I get them though. Yeah, these are nice. These are nice. Whew, those are nice. These are nice mezzanines. Yeah, these are nice. I'm a, Oh, yeah. Listen, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> We're going to be shopping all night, guys. You see, like, these are okay, but I don't like them. They are K-Essentials. Yep, Essentials. Go for the brown ones, um, Robin. I definitely got to go for the brown ones. I agree. Like, these, I don't, I don't like those too tough because, yeah, I don't like them too tough. I don't like I don't like the low I don't like the lace up I like loafers more than anything most of my shoes are loafers like these are nice let's see if they come in a different color like these are country colors I call these country shoes these country you know they're not very business professional they're country look like black and red how do you set up an LLC all right I'm going to ask answer that question in a heartbeat I'm gonna come back see I'm not not digging those too tough they nice but I'm not digging them too tough. I'm gonna get back to the um, Q and A in a second. All right, let me get back to the Q and A. But yeah, Fresh Air Brown, you talking about them gators? You done um, put me, done got me looking at some gators, some loafers, man. <laughs> Fresh Air, you done got me looking at some loafers. So let's see what I miss out on. Okay, so um, any way to get a DMB report trade line without paying them? Yes, K. Um, Oh, you did K Essentials with the hearts. That's what you're talking about. Okay. Key Essentials. Yes, Key Essentials. Um, when you are enrolled into our course, I show you how you're able to um, get a free copy of your, a free copy of what's showing up on your business profile um, when you're enrolled into my course. Um, and then also I show you how you're able to get it for like 30 bucks that gives you a detailed report. So yeah, you are able to get a full report. But my advice though is if you don't have a if you don't have a DUNS number, if you if you have never applied for credit key essentials, then it's, you know it's nothing on there. You, you know there's nothing on there unless you've done business with somebody. Um so if but yeah, because they try to charge key essentials, how much they try to charge you? What about um about just for the report and no other information they charge what? Twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars, I think. And that what they charge, like twelve or thirteen hundred dollars. All right, so I'm gonna answer that question. And now to answer Robin's question, how? Um, go for the brown ones. Yep. Okay. And then it was um. Base Finder sixty eight. If you want to do it yourself, um, I suggest you enroll into our course because we walk you step by step through the process of doing it. Um, you don't have to pay an attorney thousands of dollars. What state are you in? First, um, base finder. You need to know what state you're in and you want to make sure you do it the proper way. Um, in the course, we walk you step by step through the process for your LLC. Um, you walk, it walk you step by step through the process, um, so that you can see it, um, 
and make sure that you don't make mistakes. But the first thing you're going to do is you need to go to the um, Secretary of State. Um, and what state are you in depends on what fees there are. And then you just go through the process and um, we walk you through it in the course just to make sure that everything is, is good to go. Um, but that's to answer your question. So wow, a lot of these questions, they charge you, um, they charge, okay, so you do, they try to charge you 2,000. Yeah, I know, Key, they try to charge you 2,000. So if you do have them, then um, what you could do, Key, is um, if, you enroll, if you enroll into our course, I give you access to a company that is able to give you a full report for like 30 bucks. Um, it's a company that I have a good relationship with. Um, you're able to, I'll just go ahead and tell you, go to um, nav.com. Go to nav. Um, when you go to nav.com, they have a free version. And if you get the free version of NAV um, Key Essentials, it will tell you your business grade. Um, if you get the premium version for 30 bucks, it's only 30 bucks, it gives you everything that Dun & Bradstreet will for $2,000. So I just saved you $1,970, ma'am. You are so very welcome, Key Essentials. All right, so let's see. Um, Send business credit and get um, get it right back. That's right. I am. That's exactly how I'm going to do it because it's a business expense. Um, uh, Fresh Air Brown. You, everything I do is a business expense. I write everything off. Yeah, absolutely. The white country, um, the white one, a country too. Yeah, Willie. Like the white ones, the black and white ones, they're real country. I, I wouldn't do those. I wouldn't do those. All right. So let's see. Sirius says that you got your LLC, E I N connected and business bank account going to start your class next month awesome saving up for it but until then what would my next step be enroll you got to enroll into the course um that's the best thing i would suggest that you do um because you said that you have it set up obviously you don't and i don't mean to i don't mean to i don't mean to be abrasive but um serious kim i don't know how you have it set up because there was somebody earlier that was almost bragging talking about how they have their address with the post office and they're they be getting denied all day long so i would need to know more information of how you have it set up what you have set up um you have your business account do you have your website do you have your email address you know because in the course we provide a website for you we teach you we show you how you're able to get business we get you we give you a professional email address so that way your email address won't be a google or yahoo it'll be your business name like that's things that we provide for you inside the course so that's the reason how come i don't know like i would need to know how you're set up because i don't want to fall into malpractice i don't want to tell you one thing and it don't work out and and you know what i'm saying so you say you have it set up but like what what phone number do you have? Like you know what what phone number? Like if somebody search for you, what what shows up? What phone number shows up? What type of? So that's the type of information that I would need to know. There, there. If you just now watching and somebody shared this with you, hit the like button. And yes, this is live. Okay, so hit that like button right now. If somebody shared this with you and you're just now coming in, hit the like button. Let people know that you like this. Let people know that you're watching this. We have over 42 likes. Let's see if we can get to 100 likes live. I've never had 100 likes live before. I wonder how many likes I've ever had in life on YouTube. I don't know. But let's see if we can get to 100 likes live. So I want you to hit that like button, guys. All right, so let's see here. Um... So Carolina Kid, Big Daddy Trucker BDT, that's a name for you, boy. Listen to that name. Listen, y'all listen to this name. <laughs> this name is Carolina Kid, Big Daddy Trucker BDT. BDT, Big Daddy Trucker. He put all of his name. <laughs> he, put, he put all of his all that energy in his name. And don't forget, you gotta say the BDT. It says DBA versus LLC. Is you're trying to bail safe mode far as capital? Oh, you got to rewrite that one for me. DBAB. Ugh. Doing business as versus LLC. If you're trying to, I guess that's build. Okay, so the I guess, I think the answer, I guess the question that you're trying to ask Carolina is 
if you're trying to build business credit that's separate from your personal credit, you don't do a DBA. You don't have a you don't be a sole proprietor doing business as. You must be a legitimate LLC, limited liability company, or S Corp or C Corp. Um, if you are a trucker, which I assume that you are with that name, you better be a trucker with that name. Carolina Kid, Big Daddy Trucker, BDT. I suggest you become an LLC, limited liability company, but you can be a, a hybrid LLC where you are a limited liability company, but you have the tax shelters of a C corporation company. I teach that in detail in one of my courses, but um, I can't just tell you like through YouTube, right now how to do this it's, it's 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 a little convoluted but i walk you step by step through it in the course but my advice but that i guess to the question that you're asking if you're trying to do it then yes you can because that way god forbid if, if business don't work out you can walk away like donald trump do walk away so you know what i filed bankruptcy under the business name and start a brand new um business tomorrow and your personal credit is completely safe and taken care of so that's a very good question. I think that was a question that you were trying to ask. Um, how can you get a home loan? Cam the trucker. That's a very good question, Cam the trucker. Um, Cam, how long have you been with the company that you're with? The way that you can get a home loan is there, there are two ways that you qualify for a home loan. The first is your credit score, and the second is your income. So, um, but first, the minimum requirements um, is that you need to be employed for at least 24 months and you need to have two years tax returns. So you have to be either W-2 or 1099. You have to have your two years tax returns. And um, so how long have you been driving, Ken? Um, can't wait for the course, Mr. Cole. Okay, a cool 86. Well, listen, I don't know what you're waiting for, a cool 86. You done spent $100 since the last time we spoke. Curtis already told me. He done told on you. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but I know you have. I mean, everybody has. I ordered pizza today. I spent $30 on pizza. Oh, you can't wait, you can't wait for the cruise. Okay, a cool 86. Yes, the cruise is going to be nice. Um, we're going to be doing um, a cruise for Black History Month. So everybody, now the way that that's going to work is I'm going to go over the details for that. And, and I'll tell you guys why I, I'm doing it for Black History Month, doing it during... Um, the um, Black History Month, and we're going to Jamaica. Big up yourself. We're going to Jamaica um, because of Marcus Garvey. If you guys know who Marcus Garvey is, I want you to say um, know him. If you know who Marcus Garvey is, I want you to say know him. If you don't know Marcus Garvey, I want you to say don't know. Even if you're watching this on the replay, I want to, I want to know. If you know who Marcus Garvey is, I want you to say know him. If you don't know who Marcus Garvey is, I want you to say don't know. Um, okay, there's a couple questions. Okay, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Yes, um, Eugene, you should separate your personal address from your business address. You will not be able to build business. You will not be able to get approved for funding, um, having them um, together. The most you can get is maybe one or two net 30 accounts. You won't be able to get any true funding by having your business credit and your, I mean, your business address and your home address connected. All right. So Tori Temple, just schedule an appointment with me. Tori, I just got the notification. Give me a second, Tori. I don't know if you're watching. Um, I know you were in the prize. So you we're scheduled tomorrow at 12 o'clock, Tori. So I just got your schedule. So Tori, we're scheduled for tomorrow at 12. All right. Man, y'all guys asking some really good questions. All right, so Liberty says, all right, so this is a question that you've, um, you've asked. All right. The Detroit Pimp Collection, Marco. Okay, I'm all over the place, so let me let me catch up. All right, so Micah DIY says, one question I have. A LLC, but you have a doing business ass. Is it okay for the bank account? Is it better to have a pick for each company? Um, I'm not 100% sure what you mean by PIC for each company. But um, my advice to you is if you already have an LLC, but you have a, a sole proprietor that you have a DBA as, is it okay for the bank account? You just need to have one bank account with one business information on it. Nine times out of 10, you have something that you're not doing something with and it's just sitting there um, and it's looking pretty and collecting dust and it'll end up getting in the way when you go to get funding. Um, I don't know if you guys, I know you guys know Chase and Andrew and Jackson. 
we were getting him a line of credit through Amazon for like $5,000 and he kept getting denied because of something like that. Because it wasn't all the way connected. We had to go through and clean some stuff up. So that's why I don't give out part information. I give out full information. Now granted, he started way before he enrolled into my course or whatever. But that's the reason how come it's hard for me. I can't just answer haphazardly. I have to know it's more, I need to know detailed. And detail doesn't mean everything. You know, it could be a 15 minute conversation and I know everything I need to know specific for the situation. I can tell you exactly what you need to do. Um, so Liberty Coin says, your business name is Weathers Properties LLC. Is the name all right for your business? I have an EIN and your DUNS number is on the way. My I, Liberty, you're going to be red flagged as high risk. It just, it just is what it is. It doesn't mean that you're going to be denied instantly, but it's going to be a lot more difficult for you um, because properties is in your name. So because properties is in your name, you're going to have, you're going to get an extra layer of scrutiny. So it's going to seem like they're picking on you. Basically, that's the best way I can describe it. So the underwriters are going to pick on you. And now it doesn't mean that if you, now if you've already, I mean, you can change things up. I mean, you can change it up. Um, and in my course, I teach that. But this, this is a prime example, prime example, prime example. So let's say, for instance, if Liberty Coin never knew who I was and Liberty Coin goes and tries to apply for loans and gets turned down, tries to go to banks and get turned down, Liberty Coin would be like, business credit don't work. I did everything they told me to do. I read the book, did everything they told me to do. But your name is a high risk name. And because your name is a high risk name, you keep running into walls and brick walls and you don't know the reason why. So, you know, the number one best selling book of all time says it's the small foxes that destroy the vine. And that's how business credit is. Business credit is 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 simple. No, no, no. Business credit is easy, but it's not simple. It's easy to do it. But it's it's not simple. You need to know the details. Yes, who says that? So Tony, I just I just got your notification. We're on tomorrow for twelve, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Temple is enrolled into my course, and Tony says Janice Williams Temple Holding Group is a phenomenal name. Yes, sounds like you're somebody that's enrolled into my course. Exactly. Yes, that is a good name for properties, a holding group, or better yet, even though Janice Williams Temple Holding is great, I would do JWTHG or JWTH group. That makes it even better. You want to have that ambiguity. You don't want to be stereotyped. You don't want to be pigeonheld. You don't want to be typecast to a certain industry and you don't want to be considered high risk when there's no need to. The comments are hilarious. K, uh, key essentials, the comments are hilarious. That's good stuff. Now, all of you guys are subscribers, right? How many of you guys are watching that's not a subscriber? If you're watching this right now, and you're not a and a cool 86 stop flirting with key you don't know if key is married or she got a situation you got to ask her that first don't be don't be talking about come on a cruise and you trying to she trying to do something not right a cool 86 now you got to make sure key is all right first all right you got to make sure she's single first don't be don't be running around philandering now <laughs> getting people in trouble but if you guys are watching, man, you're not a subscriber. I want you to say not a subscriber. Now, I'm going to get back to the cruise, but I want to, to, and we were talking about Marcus Garvey. We're going to talk about that in a second. All right, because that's what the comments I see now. All right, so after Liberty, okay, so Aku86 says know him. Will Cornell says know him. Charles says know him. Eugene says know him. All right, Robin says know him. Um, Key Essentials know him. k Dog says know him. All right, Liberty Coin says don't know Sammy says, know him, know him. All right, so most of you guys know him. Yes, Siri. Yes, I. Yes, good stuff. You know him, but not of him. Okay, Fresh Air Brown. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> Look at <laughs> 86. <laughs> All right, so Marcus Garvey is one of the most misunderstood. Oh, man, Marcus, there's so much rich wisdom if you study Marcus Garvey, the good and the bad. Marcus Garvey was a failure of a businessman. He was, but he was a successful businessman at the same time. Marcus Garvey was very ambitious. He grew up in Jamaica, where we're gonna go on our cruise to. And he studied philosophy, 
studied religion and he found out that he said that the African people, African Americans specifically, African people did not have a king. So he was like, I'm going to be their king. And he says, I'm going to start this movement to bring everybody together. Marcus Garvey started a nonprofit in Jamaica and he mishandled the money and got a ran out of Jamaica. He was a great visionary, so ambitious, but there's so much wisdom to learn that he was so prideful that he had a beautiful wife too that and his wife could speak truth to power. Listen to me, his wife could speak and shut the doors down. Like she was a great motivational speaker. He left them in Jamaica, went to New York. When he went to New York, he tried again, and I love Marcus Garvey for that. He tried again, and he started to build, um, I don't know about the RG, it's called, I don't know the details of the movement. The, 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 he is the one that make the green, gold, and red, every, the green, gold, and red, what it is and what it represents. He was phenomenal. He failed in Jamaica, came to New York, became massively successful as a motivational speaker and he t and his entire movement was to get group economics together so much so to where he was started the first african american steam boat company he had a fleet of ships he had a fleet fleet you know how we talk about fleet of trucks he had a fleet of ships a fleet of ships y'all ain't happy and what he did was he 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 galvanized a lot of people's a lot of African Americans' uh, finances together, and was paying dividends until the government it's been it's on record, guys. The government shut him down by putting spies in his um, business. That's why people talk about agents in the conscious community. He had agents. He was suicidal, talking to what was supposed to be his best friend. And his best friend was actually a spy. Um, J. Edgar Hoover, who was the president at the time, put together a task force to take Marcus Garvey down. He made some phenomenal um, things in the in the in the in the African American community, but he got set up. He paid twice as much as he should have paid for his steam for his steamboats, and inevitably he ran out of business because he was too prideful to get consultants, to get help. And some of it was paranoia because he didn't know who to trust and he ended up going to jail for fraud. Oh my gosh, Marcus Garvey's story is phenomenal. He is a powerful, powerful, powerful man. Powerful man. He caused a whole awakening movement to let um, African Americans know that they could own their own. And he actually did it. He created a fleet of ships, a fleet of ships, and they traveled all over and 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 little kids will come to get to the ports just to see the Marcus Garvey ships go by. Man, this phenomenal. Marcus Garvey was off the chain. He was a phenomenal leader, phenomenal motivational speaker, and he would teach with such energy and such zeal about group economics. But unfortunately, his arrogance and his pride got into the way um, he ended up marrying uh, his second wife was married. He married his second wife because his second wife um, saved his life. Somebody was trying to shoot him. Her boyfriend at the time was trying to shoot Marcus Garvey. People, they, people gonna hate on people either way it goes. So we're at 49 likes. Can I get some more likes till I get to 50 likes? I've never had 50 likes live before. Let's see. But yes, Marcus Garvey was phenomenal. You need to get connected, Bruce. All right, go on and get connected, my man. Is All right, so let me go back. You're f I'm single and financially free, so I do as I please. That's what I'm talking about, Aku86. Aku, if key essentials, my apologies. If you're married, okay. See, there we go. Let me go, 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 let me go back. H&M Enterprise is a very good name, um, Charter. Very good name. I like that. H&M Enterprise is nice. Make sure that it's not taken, though. All right. That's good stuff. So, um, Liberty Coin, if you, um, I need to change the name. I need some help so you'll enroll into the course. Okay, awesome. I look forward to doing business with you, Liberty Coin. Let me know your real name so when you enroll, I'll know your real name, Liberty Coin. 
All right, so Joseph says, you're right, little homie. Do you. Okay, so Joseph says something. Okay, y'all y'all doing some other stuff. The comments are live. Let's see what Joseph talking about. Hold on. Let's see what Joseph. What was Joseph talking about? Okay, everything ain't what it seems, Joseph. Okay. All right. All right, good stuff. Curtis is in the building. Curtis Clemens, how are you feeling, my man? All right, so let me catch up on these comments. Tony, yes, that's a very good name, Tony. All right, Joe says, what's the best way to pay yourself with your own business? That's a very good question, Joe. The best way to pay yourself with your own business is through a service like Square. I love Square. I take credit card payments online for my course. And they actually have a bookkeeping service that allows me to pay my employees through them. Um, before Square, I was using um, QuickBooks. QuickBooks is very good. Um, QuickBooks is a very good way to pay yourself. You can get QuickBook Lite. QuickBooks Lite is very, very good. Another one is ADP. ADP is a very good way. So my advice is to get a service that will allow you to hold back your um, employee tax, your income tax, and it allow you to pay yourself direct deposit. Excuse me. So that's the best way I would suggest that you do it. I use that. I use a service called um, Square. That's who I use. All right. So let's see here. This is a very good question. Boom, boom, boom. Somebody get on the bus. Okay, Courtney. You. Okay. All right, y'all tripping now. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. All right. <laughs> These comments are off the chain. All right. So Aaron says, Aaron Bennett, hey, Aaron, how are you doing today? It says, I'm enrolled into the course. Um, when I try to post to the private Facebook group, my posts, get, my posts don't get approved. I need some help. Okay, Aaron, what questions do you have? Let me look and see. Um, boom, 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 boom. What questions do you have, Aaron? Now, Aaron, were you in the private Facebook? Now, Aaron, you know all day long today, Aaron, in the Facebook group, in all the groups, I said we have a live Q&A that was in the private Facebook group, Aaron. That's where you go to ask the questions. You have to abide by the rules to get the best results. So, Aaron, we just did an hour-long Q&A in the private Facebook group. And I posted it. It was posted on my page. It was posted in all the pages that I post to. It was posted everywhere. I think my team posted it in 60 different places. So you can't say you did not know. And we and I said, ask your questions there. And then even during the live Q&A. And not only that, Aaron, we also, you can schedule a 15-minute consultation with me for no charge. You can schedule it like Tony scheduled her. I mean, Tony scheduled his since we've done the live Q&A because he was in the private Facebook group. So what question do you have specifically? And you have to use the resources that are available to you. And that's how the resources work. You can do, you can do the live Q&As, ask your question under the live Q&A post, and schedule 15 minutes with me. Or schedule an hour for 150 if you want to. So when you say you need help, help me to understand what you mean by that. Um... All right, so let's see here. All right, so um, Fresh Air Brown says, is it necessary to have a virtual office? Can you use your family member's address? Will that work? If your family member has a legitimate business and they have a brick and mortar business you and you want to lease um, from them, you sure can. But if it's a residential address, no. So Fresh Air Brown, I need to know if it is a residential address or if it's a commercial address to answer that question effectively. All right. Um, anybody who don't like it can close your eyes. Okay, Aku86, you still macking. All right, uh, Micah the DIYer says, know him. You need to get connected, Bruce. Okay, good stuff. I don't know what um, Aku is fussing about. Aku86 All right, oh, Joseph, why are you trolling a cool 86? So, Joe, why are you trolling him? I don't understand that. Like, what's the purpose of trolling? 
Like, why why are you trolling a coup? I, I don't get it. And yeah, he is flirting in a public chat room about business. Yeah, I agree, Courtney. Like, we are talking about business, a cool 86. So two, so so basically, let me act as if I'm a as a mentor. If y'all want me to mentor you, let me mentor you for real. So a cool 86. This is the reason why when you ask me certain questions, I don't take you very serious. Like I said, for instance, if you're saying that you can buy this young lady a drink, you talk about a cruise and you're not even enrolled into the course yet. So if you were serious about it, then I would see your actions that you were serious. That's thing number one. Thing number two, Joseph, why are you um, trolling a cool 86? So both of you guys are like, you know, it's just two sides to the coin. Like both of you guys are, are, are out of order right now. Like, wow, we're talking about business. We're talking about conscious things. We're talking about positive things. And a cool 86 is virtually chasing um, a young lady like and I said and I gave him the warning like you don't know if she's married and you don't know the situation and then Joseph you are attacking a coup saying that he sounds like he's broke you don't know that he you don't know if he's not and I can I can I can speak for a fact that he's not broke because his client I mean one of his homeboys is a client of mine who he does business with that's enrolled into my course so I said all that to say that he's definitely not broke but as but there's something that's not connecting mentally though and so that's the thing when like when you do business, yeah, you want to have fun, you want to do all those other things, but at the same time, it's a time and a place for those things. And so this is a live Q&A. We're talking about asking questions about business at the same time. Yeah, saying like the hammer needs to come out, Carolina. No, it's okay. I don't want, I don't want to block people and I don't want to remove comments because it's not vicious. It's not visceral. I mean, it's life. It's cool. I, I like that type of stuff. I like it to be healthy, natural, raw, and real. But I don't want it to be negative. We don't put, ne I don't, I don't allow a lot of negative energy where I'm at unless they're a troll. Like if you're a troll and you're watching on a replay, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna troll you. I'm gonna do the um, rope a dope and you're gonna make me more successful. But, <laughs> but in this situation, let's shift the energy and let's make the energy as positive as possible. All right. Um, RGB. Thank you so much for that. Mario is, um, RGB, the RGB movement. That's good stuff. I look like Marcus Garvey. I don't think I look like Marcus Garvey. Um, Alan, but I appreciate that. So, Brandon, stop O'Neill. You said you're waiting for your C panel. Yeah, Brandon. Um, were you in the private Facebook group? Black Star Line. Yep, Brandon. That was the name of the Black Star Line. What's up, money making Dean? I am winning Melly Mel. How are you feeling, Melly Mel? Melly Mel. But um, yeah, Brandon. Um, I checked because you asked the question in the group. Yours was sent out before I went on the cruise. Brandon, do me a favor and double check and check your spam folder, search for executive office, and let me know if you don't have it. If you don't have it, I'll make sure you have it tonight. It's Eric, okay, um, Liberty Coin. Eric, I look forward to doing business with you. All right. Um, yes, Brandon, it's the Black Star Line. The Black Star Line is the name of the um, ships that Marcus Garvey did. You have transportation in your business name. Will that work against you? Yes, Big Red. Big Red, it will It will not stop you. Look at JF Transportation, Justin Frazier. He's able to, you know, we've done, I think Justin has close to over 100000 in business credit. But he does get picked on because it's in his name. It does, And I'm, when I mean picked on, I mean picked on by the underwriters and the lenders. Like we had to go back four and five times with some of these lenders. And because Justin is just so very talented and you can go back and look at a lot of his videos you can see that he was very persistent and trying some things and trying some things so if you're brand new i suggest that you don't do it and that's why i teach because people are on different levels if you're brand new i suggest that you don't put transportation in your name if you're already established like jesse was already established before he came to me so we had to work around those things you dig what i'm saying but um nevertheless it just means you're going to be picked on. It doesn't mean that you'll be denied. It will work against you. It's just going to be a little more harder for you, but it doesn't mean that it's impossible. All right, let's see here. Now, there's so many new people that have just um, joined. I need all of you guys to hit the like button. I need you to hit the share button and tell me where you share. So after you share, if somebody shared this on the wall, if you saw this on Facebook or Instagram, and yes, this is live. So if you saw this on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, I want you to hit the share button just like they did, share it. And then I want you to tell me where you're watching from. And I want you to tell me where you shared it. And I want you to hit that like button. I want you to hit that like button. Mm. 
All right, so Alan says, I look like Marcus Garvey. All right, it's Eric, and you enrolled yesterday. All right, Eric, let's see. You enrolled yesterday. Chasing Andrew Jackson on YouTube. He dropped jewels. Sorry for the promo. No, there's no promo. He's my client. Chasing Andrew Jackson, that's who we're talking about. He's my client. I love um, Justin Frazier. Chasing Andrew Jackson, he is the man. Yep, that's who I was just talking about. Justin Frazier, JF Transportation. Yep, he's the man. Definitely go subscribe to him. Definitely subscribe to um, Chasing Andrew Jackson. I'm very proud of him. He's done a lot of wonderful things. All right, Eric, you said you enrolled yesterday? All right. The fussers above about to turn this educated live cast into a world star hip hop class and beef comments. Shaking my head. All right, well, I think I've handled that um, Swish the Trademarker. Is that the same cruise with Dr. Umar? No, I didn't know Dr. Umar Johnson is going on a cruise. Did he still, did, oh, oh, don't tell me Umar did me like that. Don't tell me that he did me like, I'll be so pissed off if, if, if Umar did me like that. I'm going to be so pissed off if he did. Because he just came back from Cuba, right? And we follow each other. I have his number. And I posted. And I asked. I said. And this is the thing. Tommy Sotomayor does some things, funny things too. Like, I don't realize how influential I am. Like, I guess, I mean, I, I guess, like my Facebook stuff is, I did not realize. Like, I have multiple videos where I have over 15,000 views. And I don't realize how influential I am, right? Because on YouTube, I only got like 5,000, 4,000. I only got 4,000 some subscribers. But YouTube, I have a lot. Like, I was I was on um, Umar's, um, Dr. Umar's thing today when he was looking at the school. And so I posted. And the places that I post are also places that they post. And I, say, I asked the question. I said, if I put together a cruise, would y'all be interested in coming? And I can show you guys. If y'all saw the post, like a cool 86 saw it. If you guys saw it, because you guys are talking about the cruise. You guys saw the post. If you saw it, I want you to say saw it. I'm going to timestamp that thing. I want to look. If Dr. Umar, if he trying to steal my thunder, I'm going to be so mad. That's crazy. I speak to the beautiful women. Yeah, a cool 86. It's cool, man. It's cool. It is what it is. Um... If you let me see what let me see I gotta see somebody tell me what he talking about a cruise at let me let me see what 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 he what he, what he talking about a cruise at do I have time for three p.m. tomorrow Willie you have to look at my schedule Willie I don't know uh, um you have to look at my schedule who is in there oh man a lot of questions oh shoot I got a gang of questions all right. Shoot, I got a gang of questions. He was a director of FBI. Thank you so much for that, Mario. Ice House is a business as a business name. Uh, I don't think I don't like Ice House. Too tough. All right. Oh man, a lot of questions. A lot of questions. So, Mario. Um. Um, let me know about Dr. Umar Johnson's cruise. That's thing number one. Let me get back on schedule. Um, so Liberty Coin, you ask, you want to know how you schedule the appointment is in the private Facebook group. TB and Low put me on to you planning to take the course. Awesome Carolina kid, big daddy trucker, BDT, <laughs> Carolina kid. I'm just going to call you Carolina kid. I'm looking forward to doing business with you. Only to be sabotaged by W.E.B. Du Bois and others. Yes, he was sabotaged by W.E.B. Du Bois and others. Mario is on it. Um, so Bruce says, you have your home address as your business address. All I did by adding a suite number to it and got all kinds of vendor credit. Paydex score is 55. Your Paydex score should be at 80 Paydex. And that is your first tier. When you get to second and third tier, you're going to be denied. Because when you add a suite number to it, um, when they put you through the automatic underwriting engine, they're going to see that you are um, not a legitimate business. You don't want to have a 55 paydex. 55 paydex is horrible. I'm, I mean, not to have good credit. Uh, 80 paydex is where you need to be. So something is not right. There's a lot of things that's not right with that, Bruce. 
So Bruce, there's there's some things that you need to fix and clean up, and there's, and you you're gonna run into a roadblock. Like if you watch, there's a video. Matter of fact, Bruce, Bruce, there's a video on my channel where the person got approved for four hundred thousand dollars in in um, funding. He ran into the similar issues just like you. I show his denial letters. He got denied from so many different places until after he enrolled into the course and we cleaned some things up. And that's how come he was able to get approved for 400000 because he had been at it for such a long time. All right, so, um, yeah. And if you have all kinds of... Um, Vendor credit, that's that's not good, and you have a 55. You need to have an 80 paydex, and something's, something's not quite right with that, Bruce. And that's only for Tier 1. You can't get into Tier 2 or Tier 3. Um, so Fresh Air Brown, yeah, the residential. You can't use a residential address. You're going to run into roadblocks. All right, you got distracted, Joseph. I got distracted, too. All right. Um, you mentioned an online jewelry store a while ago to boost your credit. What's the website? Sammy, yes, Sammy. Um, if you enroll in in our course, I give you a link to, um, there are a total of four different companies that will give you guaranteed lines of credit. Um, I have a course, a free course that I, oh, I got to finish. I am overwhelmed, guys. I have a free course that was called the 100 Point Credit Boost. I gave it to a nonprofit organization and the executive director started to use it the wrong way and I shut it down. But I'm going to um, do it again and make it available that'll give you that those resources and it's a free course, it's free. Um, so keep your ears out for that one. Who said that? That was... Um, ooh. That was Sammy. So Sammy, keep your ears out for that, Sammy. Um, or better yet, this is what I want you to do, Sammy. Sammy, I want you to message me on Facebook. Tell me that you're Sammy Mac from YouTube, and I will share the link with you, and I and I'll drop it there. All right. So Carolina, the kid says, I feel you. Negative vibes don't fly in my atmosphere, not at all. Uh, do I have you down for 3 p.m. tomorrow, Willie? Um, I, let me, I have to check my calendar to see. Um, Brendan says, okay. All right, how does one get business accounts for his own business? So, Roderick, when you say business accounts, what do you mean? Do you mean business checking accounts? Or do you mean business lines of credit? Or, or do you mean business accounts to, tr to, to contract with? So, re-ask me that question again, Roderick. So, when you ask... How do you get business accounts? Help me understand what you mean by business accounts. All right, so Aaron says, being in trucking, I'm not always able to make, make it to the Q&A. Just trying to ask questions to come up during the coursework. Okay, well, Aaron, what you do is um, go underneath the post for the Q&A. Like you were able to make this Q&A, but go un under, like if they're in the Facebook group, they're it, all day long. So that means when you stop to pee, when you stop to get fuel, that means that if you stop in traffic, I mean, I, I when you stop and do your reset, like I, I definitely hear what you're saying, but and I and I have and the same energy that I that I that I'm displaying now, same energy which made me to what I have right now, because nothing was ever given to me, and I had to get past my own excuses and self-limiting beliefs. That's why I have to drop my blood pressure and I have to lose 50 pounds. I cannot continue making these excuses. I, it means I have to wake up earlier. That means I have to hire more help. And that means I have to go on more vacations. I have to. But I gave the, I kept giving excuses. Oh I'm, t oh, I'm working so much. Oh, I'm tired. I can't continue with those same excuses. So I said all of that to say this, um, is that in the, five, in the private Facebook group all day, it's been available for you to ask your questions. And also you can you can schedule like Willie wants, like Willie is scheduled for tomorrow at three o'clock. Tony is scheduled tomorrow at one o'clock. So the resources are available for you. So I definitely understand and I definitely hear, but I need to know exactly what your questions are, but you have to do it in that setting of what it is that you need because you still have made two comments and I still don't know what your questions are. You just say, I have questions, you need help. But with what? So you gotta say specifically, what you need help with, what you need the questions with. And I want to help you. I'm here to help you. 
I'm invested in you because you invest in yourself and I, I want you to win, but you got to help me help you. <laughs> help me help you. All right. Um, um, so I see Conscious Vegan Queen is in the building with the thumbs up. Hey, Conscious Vegan Queen, how you doing? I'm sorry, can't type again, driving. Okay, Roger, I understand that. When you can, you will be able to. Um, you don't have your cPanel in your spam folder either? Okay, Brandon, I'll make sure you get it um, by tomorrow. All right, so Craig says, can you use some of the business credit money to stay afloat until your business starts to make? So Eric Weathers just booked an appointment for me tomorrow at 345. I got you, Eric. So I just saw you, um, you you just booked it. So I just saw that um, if you went through the private Facebook group. Boom, see, I get the notifications. So yes, um, Craig, yes, you can use, you can use your money for anything you wanna use your money for, Craig. You can, you can use your money for whatever you want to use your money for. You can use business credit to go on vacations, lavish vacations, and you have eight beautiful women in your um, suite enjoying a Cohiba cigar. Or you can use your business credit to go and buy um, a thousand pallets of um, paper. You can do the same dollars. You can do whatever you want to do with as long as it's business expense and you can account for it. It's a very good question. I know put the info on the chat. Okay. Umar been had the cruise idea. Okay, so where I need to see that information because I know um, I was talking to him about going to Africa but I haven't seen it. Like I haven't seen it posted anywhere or seen anything. Like so is is he doing something? Because I hadn't seen it. Like having the idea is different from actually putting it in motion. So like I hadn't seen and I follow him. So I don't know where he's talking about a cruise. Like I hadn't seen it. Like I have seen him. He went to Cuba. Um, he went to um, Guinea. I was supposed to be on that trip, but I just couldn't register in enough time. So. Um, I want to know. I want to see it. SoCal is in the building. What's going on, SoCal? All right. All right. So let's see. All right. Give me a good start. Okay. All right. So, um, Mr. Mr. Joker 2000 says, what can I do if I don't have a lot of money to start with? Um, what's your definition of a lot of money? Put it down on paper and get to the point to where you have an extra $200 a month. And I know that seems tough, but figure out where you can get to the point to where you have an extra $200 a month. Um, I was actually talking to TB about it um, in our interview. He was talking about how people who used to work at McDonald's, now they're truck drivers. That's why I love trucking. Like you can, as long as you have a driver's license, you can get on a bus tomorrow. Somebody will give you a good paying job. Um, as long as you have, can pass a drug test, and if you can't pass a drug test, guess what? Pass a freaking drug test. What do I mean by that? Detox, stop smoking, stop snorting, stop doing whatever you're doing or whatever the situation is. No more excuses. If you keep making excuses, you can either make excuses or you can make money, but you cannot make both. And I say the same thing about myself. I can either make excuses or I can make progress, but I can't make both. So I got to get this blood pressure down and I got to get this weight down. Um, so I got to see SoCal is in the building. All right. Um, so um, um, Joker, my advice is get to the point where you have an extra $200 um, set aside because you're going to need to invest that some way for your business. That's my advice to you. All right, let's see. All right, so Craig says, can you have three different businesses under one business name, even if their company is different? Then no, you, that doesn't mean you have, that, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. You can't have three businesses under three different, under one business name. That doesn't make sense. One person can own multiple different businesses. Each business will have its different name. Now, can one business do multiple different tasks? A task, yeah. You can have somebody that can do multiple different tasks, but you need to have it set up the proper way. If you want to have an umbrella, you can have an umbrella, but 
if you aren't knocking down 250000 a year, you don't need to be focusing about an umbrella. You need to focus your energy and your efforts on getting one business set up and getting successful and then go to the next level. I think the mistake that a lot of people make is that they, they, minor, they major on the minor things. And then it's like a rabbit, it's like a, a, a wheel, a hamster wheel, and they never progress. And then they don't make, and I think that's one of the things that makes me successful as a consultant is I cut through the BS and we get a full good plan for you that's something that's tangible and actionable that you can go after right now. So Cal is in the building. Okay. So Craig um Bader. Okay, good stuff. All right. All right, you need a 4 p.m. appointment. I don't get out of work until 3. Okay, I think you just did 345, okay. Is the cruise in description? No, Carolina, um, the kid. The As you said, is the course, I'm tripping. Is the course in the description? Yes, Carolina, um, the kid. If you look at the description of this video and the description of all my other videos, there's a link that will take you directly to where you can go and enroll into the course. I don't know why my eyes are playing tricks on me. I'm seeing cruise, I'm seeing course. <laughs> my eyes are playing tricks on me. So yeah, Carolina, um, um, Carolina, the kid, yes. If you go to any of my videos, no matter any of if if you... If you pull out of this video, go into another one of my videos and look at the description, you'll see a link and you're gonna see a, a hand that kind of looks like this that says enroll here and it'll take you to dcfionline.com forward slash enroll. There are some more people that have just joined Let, and we are at 59 likes. I need to get some more likes, ladies and gentlemen. I've never had over 60 likes live before. So let's see if I can get over 60 likes. Let's see if we can get to 100 likes live. You said, I'm awesome, bro. Thanks for your help and joining tomorrow. Awesome, Craig. Well, I'm looking forward to working with you, and I'm looking forward to doing business with you. Uh, I need, okay. All right. Do I help? IT consultants with business credit? Yes, um, Mr. Knowledge 407. Mr. Knowledge 407, there is a video of a gentleman that says $50,000 in 60 seconds, and he has a fedora. It's not a fedora. What type of hat he got on? He got on a skinny brim hat. So if you go um, and look at the video testimonial from the gentleman who had $50,000 in 60 seconds, he does an online... Um, web development company so yes it doesn't matter as long as it's a legal business and if you're in nevada and you're selling that coochie that's legal you can get business credit to sell coochie in nevada if you're selling weed and you are in california or you're in um colorado i can help you sell weed and get business credit for it as long as it's legal you can, you know, lips, hips, fingertips. As long as you are legal, as long as it's a legal business, you can get business credit for any type of business. It doesn't matter what it is, from a church to uh, uh, um, a brothel. It does not matter. Those big extremes. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you so much for that, Mario. It's dcfionline.com forward slash enroll. So it's dcfionline.com forward slash enroll. If you go to dcfionline.com, you're going to have to hit the link that says hit the link that says enroll now and it'll take you through the process of enrolling. Thank you so much for that Mario. You are the man. I appreciate that. That's why you are a moderator. I appreciate that and you got bring that hammer down. All right. Um establishing business for your trucking company. Okay, awesome Roger. That's good stuff. All right, so Bruce says, some are not reporting to DMB. I have credit with my suppliers that I buy my tires wheels from and other suppliers to support my government contracting business. Awesome, Bruce. Then there's, you still have to, you still have to um, clean some things up. Bruce, you are in a very good place, my man. You just, you're just like the client that got $400,000. They kept getting denied. Things weren't all the way right. All you got to do is just stick, just clean up a little bit, stack some things up, and boom, you'll take off. Um, 
what's my thoughts of starting a tax business, Craig? My advice is start any business that you're passionate about. If you're just chasing money, then don't start it. If you just want to do something to make money, don't do it. But if you are passionate about it and if you want to see people win and you want to see people successful, then yes. But my advice, it is too hard to be a successful entrepreneur than to do something you hate. You might as well go get a job with a lot less risk if you're going to do something you hate. You got to do something you love. My advice is go after your heart's desire. Pray to Jehovah God and figure out what is it that you're supposed to do. Pray to him and figure out what is that desire that he's given you to do and then to do it legally. My cousin loved to smoke weed. He loved to smoke weed. I said, Dorado, I'm sorry about that. Somebody called me while I'm live. Oh, I got 64 likes. That's what I'm talking about. I got 64 likes and I'm live. I apologize for that. We got 64 likes. Appreciate that. Um, appreciate that, guys. I've never had 64 likes before. Let's see if I can get to 100. But, um, but yeah, my advice would be um, to only do it if you love it. I, I, I think that owning a business is so tough. Um, going after your dreams is so tough. I don't suggest that you chase a dollar. I suggest you chase your dreams and the dollars will come. This, hold on for a second. I apologize for that, guys. I'm back live. Forgive me for that. I apologize for that. I, I'm going to be single for a long time. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. Like, I can't deal with it. I'm, I'm just going to be single for a long time. This chick talking about, she just texted me. First, she just called me. Then she texted me. She's like, I don't appreciate you ignoring me. And what I said to her was, well, you're supposed to be watching me live and supporting me instead of whining about why I don't pick up the phone. And I'm a CEO. I'm a capital M-A-N. What you mean? Anyway, so that means I'm just pushing her to the left. I ain't got time for it, man. These women out here crazy, man. Like, I'm not I'm a regular dude. Anyway, let me get back to this live <laughs> Um, Let's see. Let's go back. God told me. All right, Curtis, if do you want the link course, if you look underneath the... um. Any of my videos, it is dcfionline.com forward slash enroll. Um, there's a link under every last video I ever do. There's a link on YouTube that, that'll take you directly to uh, my course. All right. Jess here showing why TTA support, bro. Appreciate you, SoCal. I, I know you've been here. I finally got to your comment. <laughs> All right. How's the fleet building going? It is going great tone. The fleet building is going extremely well. Uh, you are a driver. That's good stuff. Um, we're going to be hiring some people in three months. Um, great info. Thank you so much, SoCal. I appreciate that. All right. Increase water intake and go active. Free your mind. Worry. Kill your spirit. I agree with you so much, Carolina the Kid. I am going to do all of that. Take more vacations. Have a lot more beautiful women around me. That's not going to stress me out like that one just did. Um, work out and do that that's exactly what i'm gonna do carolina the kid um you're awesome thank you for um your help i'm joining tomorrow you're very welcome craig i look forward to doing business with you 62 now or 65 i'm not sure what you mean by that um um oh you're 62 now you're about to be 65 um joker i'm not sure what you mean by that you hit like when you came in i appreciate that um so cal um, yeah, I am tired, um, a cool 86. You can tell I am tired. <laughs> I am very, very tired. All right. All right. So Roderick going to go out to the porch with SoCal. That's good stuff. All right. Um, lips, hips, fingertips, LLC. I like it, Mario. That's a good one. Lips, hips, fingertips, LLC. <laughs> That's a good one. Lips, hips, fingertips. All right. Tyson. Dudley just scheduled an appointment with me um, tomorrow at 2.45. So, Tyson, I just got your notification. Um, so far, it's been a troll-free live feed. It has been, Mario. We're doing a very good job of keeping the trolls out. That's good stuff. Mr. Cole, any advice for a beginner stock investor? Yes, my advice is to study, 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 study. Um, somebody I like is Foos, Foos4. 
Go watch Fuse, Fuse 4. Simple as that. Dean laying the smack down. Yeah. Oh, oh girl, listen. <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> Last thing. Listen. It is what it is. I'm, I'm just going to be single for a minute. You know what? I'm going to stop. You know, I, I, all the energy and effort that I put into, I'm not even putting that much energy and effort anymore into dating. And I don't think I am going to put that energy and effort into it anymore any, either. I'm just going to focus and... It just, it just is what it is, man. It's just, it just is what it is. Unfortunately, and it's also I, I have to be cognizant of too because some of it is the type of women that I choose. A lot of it has to do with the women that I choose. I gotta choose different women. I gotta choose better women. I gotta do a better job of picking women and somebody that can understand that I'm a business. I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man. So that's what that is. I need to be like a cool eighty six. <laughs> I let that folks a lot. <laughs> ah, but anyway, <laughs> you're right though. It should have been understood up front that I was. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what you, what it is? I mean, if you really gonna support me, you you supposed to be the first one here, huh? She supposed to be the first one here. If you trying to um deal with me like that, you supposed to be the first one here. You supposed to be the first one throwing out my live, you know what I'm saying? Spreading the word and all the other stuff. It's supposed to have been like that. But a lot of it has to do with my fault. I'm choosing the wrong type of women. But I tell you one thing though, Fresh Air Brown I got me on these um these Mezzalindum's gators. Okay, the 100 point boost is the free one um Curtis that was um that the nonprofit was doing. That's not the real full course. If you're enrolled into the course, you would know that you you would know if you're enrolled into the course. Because you can try to go to the hundred point credit boost and you can't get access to it. It's shut down. So yeah. If you want a, a link to the course, you will the link is is there. There you go. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 65 likes. Um says I've been live for six minutes and twenty three seconds because kind of messed up because that dumb Girl calling me and then try to complain. Tell us, Mom, appreciate you. Girl, if you don't go, don't. So that means that I'm probably not going to be talking to her for another three weeks. It is what it is. Anyway, um, so it is late, guys. I don't know how long I've been live on this thing. A cool 86, study what you're going to invest in. That is, I agree 100%, um, Carolina the Kid. So all of you guys say that you're going to do business with me. And you're going to enroll. I look forward to investing into you guys. I look forward to do. We do this every Tuesday and Thursday in the private Facebook group. This is what we do every Tuesday and Thursday. But it's a lot more in depth. A lot less scattered. It's 100% targeted. Um, and there are so many. I have such a busy schedule tomorrow. So all of you guys that ask for your 15 minute consultation. First thing tomorrow morning about 8 o'clock. The, the schedule will be posted in the private Facebook group. Your time will be on there to call. You have to call the office line, okay? You have a five-minute grace period. As you can see, how many people are calling. I mean, we have over 300 people enrolled into the course. Not everybody's going to call, but when they do call, you got to be on it. You got to be RTG. You got to be ready to go. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the comment. Hit the like. All of your comments, I'm going to try to come back and answer you. If, I, if you missed the live Q&A and you was like, Dean, you didn't answer none of my questions. Or if I missed your question on the live because I got distracted, <laughs> then I want you to ask your question again below. I want you to comment. I want you to like. And I want you to subscribe. I want you to share this as well. And I want you to hit that notification bell so the next time we go live, you guys... Um, the next time we go live, you guys can be a part of it. I am at 66 likes. Can I get to 70 likes before it's over with? Did all of you, uh, there's, can I get to 70 likes before it's over with? Who had not hit the like button yet? Who has not hit that like button yet? Cigars with the CEO. Yes, I need to do cigars with the CEO. All right, 69. Uh oh, one more to get to 70. And matter of fact, I got those Cohibas. That I do a cigar with the CEO. I was supposed to actually do one today, to be honest with you. I was supposed to go get my hair cut. And I, like, I look like a wildebeest. I was supposed to go get my hair cut. And I was going to do a cigar with the CEO. But I um, I got sidetracked. Can we get to 70? Who has not hit that like button yet? 
All right, so 100, uh, uh, what's a 1,006 S Corp says, I'm a new company driver. Need to clean personal credit and start business credit. Help needed, sir. All right, well, 1,006 S Corp, if you are wanting to do that, you can do the exact same thing Chuck Brown did. That's what TB did. Um, you can start enrolling in the course and just focus on the 720 FICO coaching section, which is going to boost your personal scores. TB scores went up, I think he said it was like 200 points. He talked about it yesterday um, in his on his Facebook Live. If you haven't seen it, matter of fact, if you're watching this, I'm going to put a link in the description below that'll go to TB's Facebook and you can see the live that we did there. Also, he we talked about it again um, on his Patreon. We did a video on Patreon and we are at 70 likes. So thank you guys so much for helping me get to 70 likes. I've never had 70 likes live before. Hey there, Shelly. How are you doing, Shelly? How are you going to come in right when I'm about to leave, Shelly? I am about to leave. God dang it. And I'll, a lot of you guys are coming in right now. Can you help build business credit for a farmer? Yes. If you have a legitimate business, as long as it's a legitimate business, you can build business credit. It does not matter what it is you do, whether you're selling coochie or you're selling a couch. As long as it's a legitimate business and it's legal, it doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> but yes, as long as it's a legitimate business and it's legal, you're able to build business credit for anything. That's like somebody saying, hey, I got $100. Can I spend it on $100 worth of um, uh, McDonald's? Yeah, if you want to spend $100. Or you can go get a $100 steak. It depends on what you want. You want to spend $100 on cheeseburgers or you want to spend $100 on a steak? It's your choice. It's your money. So that's how it works with business credit. You can do the exact same thing with business credit. You just saw it, Shelly. Oh, sweetheart, I apologize, but I it's been a long one. We've been on for a long, long time, and we have 70 likes. So I think we've been on for about two hours, guys. Maybe just only an hour. But nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, all of you guys that said that you guys, I'm thinking of a local electric company to start out. Okay, Oku86. Um, I look forward to doing business with you whenever you stop playing around and you get serious like Curtis and you enroll into the course. And everybody else who say that they're serious and they're ready to enroll, I look forward to doing business with you guys. I am going to research this doggone Dr. Umar Cruz because I'm going to be pissed off if he started to move forward after I posted what I posted and got all that feedback. There was a lot of people that said they were interested. I'm going to be 38 hot at Dr. Johnson if you did that, Dr. Umar. I'm going to text him too and tell him that. He was, looking at a, I was, he was looking at a school today that looked pretty good. But anyway, listen. Every closed eye ain't sleep, and every sleep eye ain't closed. The only person stopping you from being successful is you. Go get them. Success is waiting for you.